Casey Andrews and Inez Esparza met almost 30 years ago and have shared a life-changing connection ever since. So I met Inez when she was seven years old. I had volunteered for a mentorship program called Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Los Angeles, and we were matched. Life growing up was sometimes tough. You know, we didn't have money to do a lot of things. Casey never made me feel less than ever. She always made me feel like an equal to her. I've seen her through some difficult times. She's seen me through some difficult times. Our bond is really, truly like a sisterhood. I got married a little later in life, and by the time my husband and I started trying to have children, it became difficult, and it was it was pretty heartbreaking. I mean, I gave up. And one night, I was with Inez. I was filling her in on the saga of me trying to get pregnant yet again. At one point in my story, she just said, you know I would have a baby for you. You know, as much as she's helped me, like if I could help, you know, I want to help. She did 20 years being committed to me, so being committed to her for nine months really wasn't anything. Casey just means a lot to me. She just is my rock. She just means a lot. Casey and Inez join me now. What a beautiful Hi. bond you formed. Inez, I want to start with you. You grew up, um, you know, obviously with not you know, a wealthy background. You were like right. most people uh, in this, this country, in this world, um, you faced adversity early on in your life. And take me to the moment where you met and you knew that this was a life-changing experience. When I met her, um, you know, just her always being there changed my life. You know, this is someone that I could depend on. It, it just felt right. <laughs> so you just almost knew instantly that this was some kind of life match, more than right. just someone who would be mentoring you maybe on what school to go to or stay in school. This was something deeper than that for you. Oh, yeah. There's, there was a lot of love for her since the beginning. Casey, I got to tell you, I've participated in mentoring programs. I mentor and I've been mentored. You know, I remember being, I think, in sixth grade where this woman who was a banker and she was my mentor and took me in to learn how to order soup and salad and present myself as this professional woman. You know, and, and you have a huge impact in someone's life when you can help shape them. You, though, took a very different direction. This was more than let me give you life lessons. You took on this more personal attachment to her. Why? What did it do for you emotionally to bring this further than a couple of tips of life advice on careers? I was young. I was in my early 20s, and I was new to Los Angeles myself, and I needed to have a connection. And I'm the type of person that when I commit, I kind of commit yeah. 110%. Well, I love that. So once someone's in your life, they're in your life. So 30 years later, you are in each other's lives. Inez, when you found out that Casey was having fertility issues, what was going on in your mind when you decided to offer to be her surrogate? I, I think I kind of just said it, and it, it felt natural. It, it felt like, you know, this is what's supposed to be. This is the plan. We got this. We're going to do this. And she's going to be a mom one way or another. It was gonna happen. First of all, Inez, when you found out you were delivering twins, I mean, what was your reaction? Oh, I was excited. You know, twins are amazing, that they're cool, and I was just really happy for them. They, they didn't get just one, they got two. <laughs> and Casey, your boys now, Dashell and um, Fox, are now six years old. What is it like having these little guys run around and see your dreams? right in front of you through this chance encounter, meeting this amazing young woman? It's like it all came full circle, really. Um, you know, the, the boys are just so full of life and so active and, you know, we're just, we're having a great time. We're, um, they're keeping me young and, <laughs> um, you know, Inez is, um, just a beautiful, beautiful person. I, I still can't even believe she she did this for my family. Well, and it's so amazing. The boys, and as our superstars now on TV, people might recognize them uh, from Fuller House, where they yeah. play DJ's son, Tommy. 
you have to be proud to see what they are doing as well. How do you describe your relationship with the twins? Um, I think it's a special bond. You know, I knew they were going to do amazing things. And, you know, they came into this world in a special way. So they were going to show us, you know, a bunch of things being here on Earth with us. Well, this is a great story. As I said, it really sounds like a movie because it's a chance meeting that would change everything for you both 30 years after. Thank you so much for joining us to tell us about your journey. Thank you. Thank you for having us.